Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today I've got the pleasure of showing you guys this wonderful DeLorean time machine. The Back to the Future trilogy is one of the best storytelling experiences you can find on film, at least in my opinion, and it was pivotal in immortalizing the already daring and unique DeLorean DMC-12. This design comes from the Lego builder Sawyer, and the building instructions can be found at our web store, www.brickvault.toys. Included is the PDF step-by-step -step instructions and a parts list that can be directly uploaded online for quick and easy ordering. The sales from the web store help support the channel here and the designers that work so hard in creating these incredible mocks. Now, like I said before, the DMC-12, that's the model used from the Back to the Future movies, was already bound to go down in history even before the films came out. The fiberglass body had a stainless steel veneer which on its own was enough to make it turn heads already, and it also sported the now very iconic gull wing doors that swing open vertically. This car in its very conception was trying to be something different, new, and break away from the common mold, which I think it very much excelled at. For this reason, the DeLorean was chosen to be the stylish time machine from the film, and it's hard to imagine the Back to the Future movies with a different kind of vehicle taking that role. Okay, so let's get into the build. Specifically, there are a few key points on this car that were executed with expert finesse that deserve just a bit more highlighting. One of the most important parts of a car, especially when you're transferring it to a smaller model, is the front grille. This is often thought of as the literal face of a car, and the shape of the bumper, lights, and hood really need to sort of stick that landing if you want your vehicle to be recognizable. Sawyer had a pretty awesome approach by using those panel pieces that are somewhat layered, where you can see the lighter gray of the hood on top of that darker gray that makes up a bit of that wider bumper. That design style absolutely makes it for me. I feel like it's a bit more accurate from a lot of the other Lego designs that you'll see at similar scale for this DeLorean. And there are a few alternate pieces that you can attach to this build if you want it to kind of look like the car from different versions of the universe. And um, this little red grill piece can be attached if you want it to look like the Knight Rider combination DeLorean from Ready Player One. Along that same note, let's take a look at the back. Again, we have an excellent look for the bumpers. And if you wanted to use those printed pieces, that came from the DeLorean ideas set for either the futuristic California license plate in orange or the more recognizable at a time vanity plate. The alternate pieces are also included in the parts list as an option if you wanted to get the set from the web store. Going a little bit higher up along the back, the first main big thing you can see are those two very large high pressure steam vents. The sloped grill pieces really make that vent detail pop out there and you can switch from the original back to the future car or the more futuristic version by switching out just a couple of pieces in the back if you like and there's also a place to attach that longer hook piece so it can connect up with the uh, power line the gull wing doors open up nice and wide to get a minifigure in and out of the car you can see very easily inside now there's a little bit of uh, mechanical detailing sort of right along the front dashboard a shifter in the middle and you know what I'd want to be able to see the back a little bit better so you can just easily remove the roof it's actually designed to just be popped off with a couple of studs and now you've got a much better view of the flux capacitor. Personally, I love the brick built look as opposed to the printed piece that you got from the idea set. And it's a fun little design there using the small plume feather piece that's a minifigure headgear accessory that makes up that little trifecta of power. The car has the ability to comfortably seat one dog Einstein or two different minifigures. And if where you are going does not need roads, you can attach these four little Technic connector builds, which then successfully transforms the DeLorean time machine into the flying car version. So now is about the time in the video when we test to see how durable this mock actually is. Uh, all the stuff that we produce within the studio here, we like to have very, very accurate, but we're constantly moving bricks around here in the studio and I do not like overly delicate builds. So this is definitely uh, playable. I'm sure it probably doesn't reach up to maybe the same build standards that comes directly from a Lego set. They're a bit stronger and need to be handled a little bit more roughly for like younger kids. But you can see I'm not particularly being delicate with this build. The only part of the DeLorean that I can think of that isn't rock solid pretty much is the doors. They're attached just by one clip piece and they have to have that they have to have the gull wing opening function where it goes up vertical. This is what the underside looks like. There's a few inverted slope pieces to kind of round off the edges under the doors. And that's pretty much it when handling 
building the set. So once again, you can find the instructions for this build at our LEGO web store, www.brickvault.toys. Let me know what you think about this Back to the Future DeLorean set in the comment section below. And if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah. Oh, yeah.